So this is the Beach Fork Covered Bridge because it crosses the Beach Fork River. It's also known locally as the Mooresville Covered Bridge or the Mount Zion Covered Bridge. You can see we've done a pretty extensive restoration. Uh, we started by putting a steel truss through that is only a temporary truss uh, to make a backbone to work from so that we can dismantle all the parts of the bridge and repair them and put them back in place. As we took it apart, we designed what would happen next because we didn't know what we would find. And it's, it's worked out well. This is a third one design build we've done in Kentucky. It, Kentucky actually is a forerunner in that, that they do a design build. And in a historic building, that's a wonderful thing to do because you don't know what you're going to find when you take it apart. And H Kentucky did some of the first design builds on bridges were in the state. We'll be finished Christmas Day. I wouldn't, we'll probably, Arnold and I will be out here Christmas Day working and uh, finishing up and getting it ready to open the gates so that it will be open for the next day for people to come in. And we'll be cleaning up and getting things off the state property so that we, and getting organized to take things, either go to Dover, Covered Bridge, where, where we're going to go next to stabilize that. It was uh, damaged in a flood this summer. That's up in northern Kentucky, up by the Ohio River, up by Maysville. And some will be organized to go home to New Hampshire which I'll be, I'm missing New Hampshire and my children, so it'll be nice to get home and see them even if it'll be after Christmas, so I'm looking forward to that.